GDP, which stands for Gross Domestic Product, is a monetary value of all final goods and services produced in a country. It is an accurate measurement to analyze the country's economic health, for example, to identify the size and growth rate of the economy. Besides that, it is usually computed annually or quarterly depending on that country. Moreover, payment transfers and intermediate goods are excluded in computing GDP. Here's the brief history of GDP. It was established in 1937 when an economist named Simon Kuznets presents the original formulation of gross domestic product in his report National Income 1929-35 to the US Congress. Then in 1944, GDP became a standard measurement to trace country's economy as the World Bank and International Monetary Fund were established. There are three approaches to compute GDP. The first one is expenditure approach. The components are consumption, investment, government spending, and net export. The second approach is called income approach, where we will be summing all income earned in the country. And the last one is called output or value added approach. It can be computed by deducting the output price with the input price at each level of production. Next, there are various types of GDP. There is nominal GDP where the measurement is based on the current price, whereas real GDP uses the market price of base year to compute it, giving an accurate comparison of figures between years. There is also GDP per capita where it breaks down the economic production per citizen. Moreover, there's GDP PPP. This used to compare living standards between countries. For the past few decades, the top five countries with the highest GDP in the world included United States, China, Japan, Germany, and India. Economic growth for those countries is contributed by many factors, including efficiency in product output, natural resources, and entrepreneurship. Firstly, United States has been the world's largest economy since 1920 centuries. In 2019, the United States nominal GDP was $19.9 trillion. Several factors to the United States' robust economy include supporting and encouraging entrepreneurship, that promoting innovation, and then exploding the economic growth. Besides, the United States dollar is the most widely used currency for the global transaction. Next is China. China is the second largest economy after the United States and the faster growing nation. However, interestingly, China already overtook United States from GDP PPP competition since 2014 until now. How China economy overpowers other country in the world. China economy exploded when the country began shifting its economic policy from communism to a capitalist system in 1979. Then, China started to build a specific economic zone where massive parts and factories built in. Besides, China started opening to foreign trade. Consequently, many people want to manufacture their product in China as China manufactures the same sound quality at a lower price. China product lower price due to the lowest wages for the Chinese workers. Hence, one third of world good manufactured by China. Besides China, India has shown a healthy median growth economy for the past decade. India was predicted to be the second China when it started to evolve and grow in the manufacturing sector. Before this, most Indian economies contributed to the service sector and agriculture sector. However, after India growing its full manufacturers such as Xiaomi Redmi, OnePlus and Motorola One, it has increased the demand in the heart of consumer globally and subsequently improved their economy. For the global GDP per capita, China has the world's second largest nominal GDP in current dollars in 2019, but it has GDP per capita reaching 10,000 US dollars. And in GDP per capita, in number 70 of the ranking 163 countries, because uh, spending power has also increased due to the highest personal income. 
which allow domestic consumer to sending to spend more than before and make the economy more diversified. Why? High GDP does not mean high GDP per capita. For example, the Singapore country. Ah, uh, Singapore is a small country, and it is very well positioned in the term of standard of living of its populations. The GDP per capita of Singapore in 2019 was 372, ah, uh, 44 million, and coming nine out of the ranking top 10 of GDP per capita. Next, for the GDP approach, income approach, example Malaysia have a large percent of GDP that goes to capital owner and most business owner are Chinese. With the production as a thin rubber, palm oil export have always been the driving force of the Malaysian economy. For the expenditure approach, in the part of the investment, the Netherlands received the most direct investment from the United States in 2019. Here, Sweden is the lower direct investment in 2019 by was 30x billion in USA dollars. In 2019, China has been the top. Products nation are uh, accounting for 11% of the global micro production. Will the product fill from nearly 400 tonnes? Will the Brazil is a country that has produced 10 more tonnes of the gold than the year period to the making the number 10 spot from a ranking of the top 10 country produce gold in the world in 2019. Domination in world politics is directly related to the economic might of any country. China is the highest according to GDP PPP, which China is worth 27 billion and 21 billion US dollars. It shows that the price for goods and services in China is the cheapest in the world. The key sectors of a country's GDP can depend on a number of things like population, Technological advancement, natural resources, etc. For example, Saudi Arabia is a petroleum-based economy. In 2019, Saudi Arabia reported a GDP of 792 billion US dollars, of which the petroleum sector accounted for roughly 40% of it. Saudi Arabia is the leading exporter of petroleum in the world. They have been blessed with an abundant amount of petroleum reserves. In fact, possessing up to 20% of the world's proven reserves. They are second only to Venezuela in this regard. Their abundance of petroleum and their smart use of it has been a major reason for Saudi Arabia rising to be amongst the top 20 economies in the world. Maldives has a tourism dependent economy. In 2019, Maldives reported a GDP of 5.8 billion US dollars, of which nearly 30% of it was accounted for by the tourism industry. There were reportedly about 1.5 million tourists who visited Maldives in 2019. Their white beaches, blue oceans, clean air, and many islands are some of the reasons why it is such a popular tourist destination. Germany is one of the largest manufacturing countries in the world. They reported a GDP of 3.85 trillion US dollars in 2019, of which the manufacturing sector accounts for nearly 30% of it. Germany is one of the largest exporters in the world, and they generally specialize in high-quality goods. This is evident in many of the German-based companies like BMW. Mercedes-Benz and Volkswagen, which are amongst the top vehicle manufacturers in the world, Germany is also a major exporter of machinery, chemical goods, electronic products, electrical equipments, pharmaceuticals, transport equipment, basic metals, food products, etc.